Hey everyone, my name is PJ Medine. I play guitar in the band Breakthrough, and today I'm taking a look at runway audio cables. Runway Audio is a cable manufacturing company out of Nashville, Tennessee, and they have two goals. Their first goal is to preserve your tone. The second goal is to build a cable that can withstand the rigors of touring and live performance. So let's get into what makes these cables special. Runway Audio cables are made with 20 AWG wiring and 95% braided shielding, and the cables are made with 20 picofarads per foot, meaning that they should have the least amount of tone loss of any cable on the market. And the cables are wrapped in a no knotting TechFlex coating to give extra strength and durability. And Runway Audio offers a lifetime warranty on their cables, meaning that if you buy a cable from them, it's the last cable you should ever have to buy. So the question that we always want to answer on this channel when it comes to cables is what do these cables do to my tone? What impact do they have on my tone? And so to discover that uh, today, I'm going to be recording some tracks using some standard cables that I own and recording some tracks using the runway audio cables. And then we're gonna compare them and see what we think about the tonal and volume differences. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to play my close guitars Apollo Pro through the instrument cables one at a time. Uh, they're running into a direct box, which is then running via the XLR cables into my audio interface. Both of the inputs on my audio interface are dialed in the exact same that way. Any volume, tonal differences, any of that, that'll just come straight from the cables and from nothing else. Uh, we're gonna start by comparing the XLR cables today. So I have a standard instrument cable running into my direct box right now, and then a standard XLR running from the direct box into my audio interface. We're gonna record a little something, then I'm gonna switch over to the runway audio cable, and we're gonna compare the two and see what we think. <laughs> Gonna switch over to the Runway Audio XLR now. No real volume or tonal differences there. Not really a surprise given that they're XLRs, but hey, I'm always open to being wrong. Um, now we're gonna switch over to comparing the quarter inch cables or the instrument cables. Since the last XLR track was a combo of the standard quarter inch and the Runway Audio XLR, I'm just gonna switch over to the Runway Audio uh, quarter inch and leave the Runway Audio XLR plugged into the DI and the audio interface. Okay, let's try out the Runway Audio quarter inch now. Okay. The Runway Audio quarter inch offers way more tonal definition and clarity, hands down. Oh my goodness, yeah, that, that's obvious. That, that was very obvious. So like I said, no difference on the XLR cables, but there was a big difference when it came to the instrument cables with the Runway Audio cable offering more tonal definition and clarity. If you like these cables as much as I do, go ahead and check out my video description. I'm gonna throw some links down there. And as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and subscribe to Medine's Make Music for more. Thank you.